Hey everyone, and welcome back. So, I've got Topaz on me, already driving me nuts for tonight, so it's... You know what? We know it's a regular stream when I've got Topaz on me, driving me nuts. So tonight, we're going to be playing Axolotl, guys. Um, and one of the other two games that I, I missed when it came out, and I've been really waiting to play. So I'm really happy that we're going to play this one tonight. Part of me wanted to replay Knights vs. Um, Giant that we played yesterday, but, well, yesterday we played the demo, but at the same time I'm like, why not try a different roguelike Knight, something fresh, and then we can always come back to Knight vs. Giants, like, later, later in the week during one of our late streams, especially that I'm coming into four days off soon, gotta work tomorrow, but after that it's four days off. So most likely we're going to have some time coming in front of us. So if you guys don't know, this is this is like it, it reminded me visually of something like Enter the Gungeon. But you're playing as this as an axolotl that basically totes weapons. So hopefully it turns out to be good. You know, we always have a backup too. if it's crap. We can always we can always change to something else. But I, I think it's it's lining up to at least be a decent game. Now, for anyone who didn't know, tonight is replacing the regular Friday night stream. We are probably still going to stream tomorrow, but a lot later than usual. So, tonight is the normal weekly stream for everyone that normally comes around 6.37. So, <laughs> I had to help Topaz there because she was just about to fall off of the table. <laughs> she didn't know, but she was about to step on something that had nothing under it. So, if she stepped on that... She pure, like, fell to the floor. Little Topaz being a, uh, a noyer. Okay. Yes, another stream. And you guys will probably be fed up with me. You're going to see me tomorrow as well. I'm also editing the Thunder Ray strip part of the stream of yesterday into a separate video that I'm going to put out. And we're looking at a deals video today or Saturday guaranteed, so... You guys are going to be fed up of seeing my ugly face within the next couple of days. So, there we go. Let me just adjust my camera. Someone messed with it today. It was totally off position when I got here. That looks about right. Not exactly right, but about right. It's, it's going to be good for now. So, hey Nanaki, Martin, Mr. Smiley, welcome back guys. Man, I think Naki was here yesterday. Smiley, were you there yesterday when we played the other game? Um, I have a blank. You're in so many streams, I can't remember which ones you were there and which one you weren't. I said it was on sale till the 5th. Unfortunately, like, honestly, I can't give the hours because it depends. Like, for me, the sale was, like, till... 4 a.m. on the 5th, so like last night. Um, that what you have to watch out because when I say till the 5th, like sometimes it's till noon, sometimes it's 3 a.m., sometimes it's 4 a.m. Like I can't start putting the hours, especially bit depending on the time zones rage. But I, I try to do the best I can to give you guys the dates, everything, but. You, you can check, though, to see, like, what time it's ending at when, if you, you check it out on the eShop, like, if you're, you know you'll be uh, close. Okay, so Axolotl mode. You're not afraid of a challenge and normally play other roguelite action shooters. This experience is the default mode designed by our team. A more relaxed experience designed for newcomers to the genre. Begin the game with increased health, pool, enjoy the frequent healing, and amplify your damage. So I'm sorry you missed that, Rage, but I thought you already bought the whole thing. I thought you had it, like, you said you were playing it, like, a couple of days ago. But, ah, of course, Marte, I know exactly what you're talking about. Hey, Ones Kilos, welcome back, my man, Cristobal, Danny, how are all of you? I am doing okay, doing okay, and, you know, honestly, yeah. People are really liking the game last night, yeah. The, um, the uh, Knight versus Giant, it is a really good one. I want to replay it. I just, like, it, it's one of those things that if I don't play Axolotl tonight, I don't know when we're going to play it. 
God, don't ruin that, Nanaki. That's what we're that's what we're streaming late tomorrow. Sunshine Manor. These aquatic salamanders don't ruin it. A free and peaceful life. It's actually full and no natural predators in sight. It's easy to rest by the warmth of the campfire. However, man, I'm missing the funny uh, dialogue here. Come at a great cost. We have like the uh, Australian like this nature guy talking. Slept through the entire incident. With little or time British. to think about their lost children, their sole motivation is the desire to feed. Uh? A full axolotl is a happy. <laughs> Don't worry, Nanaki. I'm busting your. I'm. I'm just busting your chops. It's all good. Can excuse stolen children, but they draw. But we are gonna. We are gonna. Food. Someone is about to get. Up. Oh yeah, someone's about to get effed up, man. I love that, and he freaking pulls his little AK. ZR is shoot. We have a dodge roll. Oh, I pressed something. Okay, uh, X is reload. Oh yeah, dodge roll is on L. Okay, so it's twin stick shooting. Okay, so bushes give us stuff. What's up, X talk? Hello, angry, hangry fella. Have you heard that you can hold ZL to use your snack ability? It will even heal you. I'm sure it tastes better than a wooden sign, hey? Okay, but I think we just wasted it up there. Or how, how does it refill? There must be a way for me to swap weapons, right? Uh, why? Okay, so I did. Oh, okay, I didn't hold it long enough. Got it. He wanted me absolutely to use the full smack ability. Hey, uh, what if you just stay here? There's a duck at the other side, so don't use L to jump over the water or it might get scared. Oh my god, it's the duck from uh, the freaking other game I love. That is also like a twin stick shooter. Guys, help me here. <laughs> it's uh, It looks like the freaking duck from... Uh, Beaks, something beaks. Blazing beaks. Yeah, man, it pure looked like the main duck from Blazing Beaks. Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They were. That's that's exactly who I was uh, thinking of when I said that. I, I'm really bad. Like you guys know, I'm really bad with names. So it's no surprise that I didn't come up with the name, but. I wonder if there's an auto lock. Here. No, there isn't. We're gonna try the tactic gun a bit. Okay, so we have a new gun, or. Damn, I think that was an ability. I wanted to go for the ability, actually. Oh, katana. Oh, so we can only carry two weapons? That sort of sucks. Oh, shouldn't we have a limited number of slices with the katana? I would have thought that a katana would have, like, unlimited slices.
Not sure what all that was about, but okay. So it looks like we have a bunch of currency there to collect on the right side of the screen. Are we at like our little campfire home place? Now? Looks like it because the music totally changed. this dude. I'm just gonna try and kill it. Doesn't do anything. Okay. So let's continue on. Generating pond. So that must be the levels. Oh, I better have two hands on the controller. Hey, we lost our katana. Got our katana back. So this must be like a health refill, which for the moment we don't need, but who knows, maybe we'll lose a bunch of health. And we did. I, I did that on purpose, guys, so that we could see what the health refill is. Oh dang! Our, our 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 health ability is uh, our refill health ability is uh, slow to refill there. The katana is cool, but it's also a little uh, weird to use. So we have the face of the axolotl or that. So I guess this is currency. Let's see what the face of the axolotl is. Salamander egg unlocked. Okay. Can we talk to this dude? Yes, we can. Hey, I love ice cream and cupcakes. There are plenty of axolotls to be found in the wild. Sometimes they end up here, but some are still hiding out. Those little buggers. So I guess we there's a part of the game where we have to be collecting axolotls. Can someone explain to me why winged unicorns are called alicorns instead of wingy corns? I didn't know they were called either. I'm not exactly a unicorn expert. Rainbows are super duper cool. Have you checked Noah's? They're totally the best ones ever. Okay, he's saying dumb crap. So we have the choice between star or question mark. Oh, you just bought an 8-bit dope pro too? One of my favorite controllers. Where is it? It's right here. It's like my my go-to 2D platformer controller. I'm sure someone said this feels like Archvale. Yeah, it, it, it's gonna feel like a lot of games. To just be honest, like the like Archvale feels like Enter the Gungeon. Enter the you know obviously our Enter the Gungeon is different. It's and it's like. You know, it's the it's the original goat, if you will. I think my ability only fills up as I damage guys. Okay, so battery zaps enemies when they get close. Increase your rate of fire by 60 cents, but it decreases your damage by 30. Active abilities charge 20% faster. Uh, let's grab this because right now we definitely need our um, active ability to charge faster. So we have a new gun, we have another ability, and we have a cookie. To me, it looks like a chocolate chip cookie, but might be something else. Last Faith Metroidvania. I want to check it out, Rescue Squad. For the moment, though, I don't know when I can, I'm going to have time to play it. But I will. Uh, it is one of the ones that I'm very interested in, and I want to have time to check it out. 
It might just wind up like Axolotl here, where I might play it uh, like a bit late. Immunity to spike traps. Uh, so spicy, you generate a trail of fire. It zaps enemies when they get close. I think we wanted this. Yeah, going to burn crap. I wonder why the rocks are shiny. Oh, we picked up a... Okay, the rocks are shiny because there are items in them. That, that was a collectible, that little leaf thingy that we picked up. Oh, dang. I should have dodge rolled again. Uh, regenerate. Sure. Now we're going to get to see the mechanics here. Oh, we have a little chicken friend. There's a new Axel little egg to be sure to take good care of it. As a chicken, I feel the responsibility to stay around and I don't mind, right? Sure. Axel little babies require nurturing for happiness and growth. Tend to them, enhancing their happiness levels. Only when the Axel littles are fully happy, they'll be able to grow up. Be cautious. Neglect may lead to a decline in their happiness before long. You'll have an adorable little squad at your disposal. A happy Axel little is a deadly Axel little. Interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna build ourselves a squad with the Axel little babies. We're gonna hatch this dude. We're gonna nurture it. By putting a diaper on its rainbow. Like, I don't know what the... I don't know if you guys have babies, but I've never seen a baby poop rainbow. <laughs> so, okay. Alright, it's... Well, it's basically the 8-bit dough... Um... What was it called before the Pro 2? It was the 8-bit though, SN30 Pro. But basically, instead of calling the second one like the SN30 Pro 2, it's just called the Pro 2. And yes, it's like a hybrid of... It's basically a Super Nintendo controller with with handles, like with, 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 with grips on each side. And honestly, in my opinion, it is the best uh, current, like... 2D centric controller we have on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, exactly. Me too. I've seen uh, I've seen uh, a lot of colored poop, but definitely not rainbow colored poop. So I'm not sure what we're supposed to do other than just pick it up, but we shall see. What is this over here? We can't go there yet. Oh, she still has stuff to tell us. Getting attention makes them happy. Don't ignore them for too long, though. These poor babies may get sad, and sad babies can't grow. Okay, Axopedia. Let's see what this says. Oh, so... So, basically, I think we're going to be able to equip... Diff like, we're going to be able to play as different Axolotls as we unlock them. Which, most likely, are going to have, like, different attributes. Hey guys, by the way, I'm sorry, I should have announced earlier today that there was a stream tonight. I just had to get up, like, at 6.30 a.m. my time for work. And work was, like, super um, demanding today. So I couldn't, like... Honestly, I couldn't, like, take the time... Like, I couldn't say, like, yo, I'm, 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 I'm taking care of my YouTube channel for, like, 15 minutes. And basically... We're starting at 7. I got home basically at 6. <laughs> I got home at 6, so like, uh, we jumped like straight into stuff tonight. So next time though that I change up the night on us, I will try to give you guys uh, a little bit of a, a notice. Yeah, honestly, well, it's what like, honestly, it's hard to go wrong with this type of pixel art style. Hey, 
that's the thing. You can't hold down with this one, but the fire rate is a lot higher. Dude, that is pure the guy from Blazing Beaks. Come on, kick it over here. The duck. Okay, we're taking the charger again. Hopefully this time we're actually going to get to the point where it actually charges something. What's the food? We're going to go for the food, guys, because I'm trying to figure out what all the different things are. But honestly, so far, controls seem super responsive. I haven't mentioned it, but super responsive, very, uh, very good. You can either, you can actually use the D-pad or the joystick, but this is oddly enough, another game that the joystick is feeling a lot better, obviously because it's a twin stick shooter. Like you could use the D-pad, but in my opinion, you're hurting yourself by using the D-pad. Let's go to the axolotl. We need to get some axolotl babies. A corgi. Corgi Lodal. Is the, is the weirdo unicorn going to keep saying some dumb stuff? Okay, you know, I'm sure that he has some interesting dialogue to say, but yeah. Oh. The AK Carabine. We're gonna go in the question mark this time because the, the other one's a weapon and we already have a decent... Well, I'm hoping that the Carabine... Uh, shoot the Unicorn? You're right. I'm gonna try shooting the Unicorn next time. Man, I am so bad with the dodge roll. I don't like the dodge roll being on L. Let me think about this. I would rather have the dodge roll on B. Okay, because I'm, I'm having trouble, like, um, not trouble, but it's just like mm, it, it, memory. Like, can I can I change the difficulty? We can't personalize the controls. Like, I could go do it in the Switch itself, like, change the L button to the, to the, uh, whatchamacallit, to the, um, B button, but I'll try to get used to it, because I'm not, no, I'm not talking to you, but, um, yeah, because muscle memory-wise, right now, I'm not, like, it's not clicking in my mind to dodge with the L button. And I'm not quite sure why. Okay. So, like, nurturing them is like little mini games. So you do a little mini game, it makes them happy. You go out, you come back, you do another little mini game. Honestly, it's it's a fun perspective, and it's and that's where the like addictiveness is gonna come here. I, I, I in my opinion, oh, we can swap. No, we can't. So we can actually unlock other weapons here. Like we can unlock different starter weapons. I didn't notice this the first time. Hmm, interesting. So we're gonna try to get through at least the first portion. I'm gonna try to not suck it up as much. Oh, shice. 
Wanted to grab a chug of beer. I know I'm wasting the the uh, gun, but okay, we're gonna go for the abilities here. Oh my god. I can't grab the helmet? Oh, I, I can grab the helmet. Can we see what the abilities are? No, we can't. Mm, that, I, I, that is something I always dislike when you can't actually re-see what the abilities are. I didn't pro- you see, like, it's my fault I didn't properly read it before, like, choosing it. Because I, I thought that it was grayed out, meaning I couldn't choose it. So now I have no idea what the actual helmet is giving me. Okay, let's see what the cookie is. I don't think we've done the cookie. What is the cookie? Oh, it's a collect. It's a. It's an item. It's a collectible item. Okay. Let's go for the question mark. I'm actually surprised I didn't get hit there. Oh, there's still the duck. Question I mar mark, I guess, is like random. And we're gonna go grab a weapon this time because we're almost out of bullets for this one. Just checking my phone, guys, because my wife might be calling me a little later for something you might need help with, so I'm just making sure. Oh my god! I'm dodging like Pure freaking garbage in this game. Ugh. Like, it's frustrating me because I know how I should be dodging. I'm just not doing it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not ignoring them. I'm nurturing them each and every freaking time. Oh my god, that is disgusting. You gotta sort of guess what you need to do in these, like, mini-games. But honestly, the freaking pixel art style is really adorable. No joke, like, it's, a, it's, it's adorable but crazy at the same time. Which is honestly just probably the best mix of pixel art styles. Adorable? Yet, at the same time, somewhat insane. Yeah, honestly, I'm liking it so far. It's another very decent roguelike. Now, obviously, if, I'm, if I have to compare it to the game we played last night, which is Knights vs. Giants, I would take Knights vs. Giants first, especially if they fix up the, uh, the uh, dialogue boxes. I'm trying to keep an eye out on Knights vs. Giants to see if I see, like, a patch for it.
I have to concentrate because honestly, it shouldn't be taking me this many tries to get through this level. Like this part of the game. Yes, Topaz, I love you too. Oh, your eye is swollen again. Poor Topaz. Topaz has a little eye problem, so her eye is swollen again. She's looked at me and I could see her little eye is swollen. It comes and goes, don't worry. Like, if you guys see her, if she gets close to the camera, don't worry. It's it's a recurring thing that she has and, it, like, there's nothing to do. Like, we, we can put a little cream in it, but honestly, it, it, it doesn't really bother her. Like, it doesn't hurt her. It's just annoying because she has, like, an, one eye half closed. Man, I'm just not concentrating properly on these fights. Because I got hit there for, like, a totally stupid reason. I wonder what the, what the currency is for, though. It's true, eh? We haven't really used the currency for anything. Like, there must be a shop, but maybe it's because I just didn't get far enough and we haven't seen the shop yet. What was the food already? Let's go. I can't remember. I have to start remembering what the stuff is. Like, some of it I'm remembering, but I don't know why the food is like... Okay, actually, the katana I just noticed slices projectiles. Oh man, I'm gonna fail this one again. Like, our ability does not charge, like... Mm. Part of me wants to keep the katana here. We have money, we have a gun, or we have another axolotl baby. Oh, it's a sawed-off. Mm. I think me wants the sawed-off shotgun. Let's go grab ourselves an axolotl baby. Let's go for money, because we just got a new weapon. Oh man, it's massive damage. Oh god! Ah! Oh! Man, I'm always dying at the big freaking raccoon dude. Oh, shite. Okay, we've got a new new section. I'm sucking so much that the game's unlocking new things for me. Oh, we have a second weapon. Why did we get a second weapon? What happened? This car is hungry. Bring the little happy ones to me. Yes. Crystal takes happiness from the babies and I give you permanent upgrades. Yes, please. Uh, so we trade the happiness from the babies to get upgrades? That is freaking, like, demonic, but I love it. I love the description, too. Bliss Taker is a shady creature that trades permanent upgrades in exchange for happiness. Position your actual little babies near the magic crystal, extract their happiness, and exchange your harvest for some enticing upgrades. In exchanging smiles for power qualifies as morally gray, right? I freaking love the fact that the game knows it's like super shady. <laughs> uh, increases weapon drop rarity by 2%. Topaz, can you stop being a, a, a piss? Oh my god. Driving me nuts tonight. 
sacrifice the little boogers. Dude, if you watched me play uh, at all uh, Cult of the Lamb, I'm the first guy to sacrifice, like, anyone. And I, like, sacrifice my wife to make myself more powerful. Definitely. <laughs> I'm so different in real life. Such a nice guy in real life. <laughs> Oh, this guy's like max growth. Oh, but he grows. I just growed him. Just grew up. What? Ha Did I have to not grow them? We can pet them. Okay, let's just see what happens if I trade, like, if I come here and I do, like, this. So I got one heart from that. Okay. I can't pick up the other ones anymore. You know, teener, you know how teenagers get. All they care about is food. Try cooking something for them to help them grow into strong adults. Huh, don't look at me like that. So it looks like there's going to be like a balance on making them grow or sacrificing their happiness to not let them grow. Okay, collect ingredients and bring them to the cooking pot. Prepare recipes for your teens and adult axolittles. Main courses will help them grow into a unique class, while serving them dessert will provide them with new active abilities. Unleash your inner chef by mixing and matching classes with abilities. Now, I'm really starting to like this though. So, slightly spiced, we have veggie fish. I think this is the only thing we can make, right? Yeah. Gives the axolotl class Gives the, uh, lets you reroll the item selection in item chests once per biome. Let's make one. We had enough. Room. Okay. There it is. Okay, so we have to bring it to them and they're gonna eat this crap. They eat, how do they eat it? Do I need to tell them to eat it? Is he just gonna eat it himself? Oh, there. Inspect. Let's see, re roll the item selection and item chest once per biome. Okay, awesome. Like, can we play as him now? Weapon spec. Gunslinger Trooper. Okay, so we have to select a characteristic that we want him to have. We have Gunslinger. Increase pistols weapons damage by 10%. Assault weapons by 10%. SMG weapons. Sniper weapons. Shotgun weapons. Melee weapons. Explosives. Laser weapons. Well, I feel like we have to take, like, Gunslinger, right? Because, like, for the moment, that's what we're getting the most. <laughs> Adorable, yet somewhat insane. Sounds like my exes. Mr. Spiley, you are a messed up dude. <laughs> You're attracted to problematic women. I... I I was gonna just about to say something really bad. Never mind. I was gonna say like I don't think the opposite exists. I, I said the same thing, but in a much friendlier way. <laughs> just joking to all the ladies out there. I love you all. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, accept the gunslinger. So 
like inspect swap. Okay, now we can play as the corgi. Nice, okay. Wow, okay, so you know what? Okay, uh, once your axolotls reach Adult Hulk, you have the option to alter their unique weapon styles. Achieve this by accessing the Axopedia and giving them cookies. That's what I just did. Actually, I think I'm not going to take the Corgi. Because he doesn't have the freaking snack ability. So, you know what? F this. We're going to swap back. But that's actually pretty nice. Please don't cancel me. <laughs> you know, I'm just joshing, right? Y'all know I'm just joking. I'm a, a just, you know, just for for reference. I live with four women. <laughs> uh, swap. Let's swap to the pistol here. I'm liking the pistol more than the basic AK. Okay, uh, I didn't want a med kit. I, I pressed A to in quick succession by mistake, and I took like an upgrade that I totally didn't want. Now we're gonna have to collect more like um, collectibles. Because now I realize how important that stuff is. So basically we have to make the food to give ourselves the basic abilities we want. Like, we're getting all this healing stuff on the one run where we absolutely don't need it. Like, it's insane. Oh, actually, that's all HP up. Oh, so the cross is actually better than I thought. Okay, it's not... It's not... Well, better. It doesn't heal you. It's, um, it's basically increasing your max HP. ourselves a cookie um, I guess let's go for money Oh my god! 
No, not again at the raccoon dude. I think I still have a random, yeah, caterpillar there. Oh my god, my ability looks like it's full, but it's actually not. So we have the carabine or we have the Kalas. I do not believe we've tried the Kalas yet. Oh, it's like a sniper. Like, it, it looks like our, our refill ability is full, but it is not. What is this? That looks like a lot of money, actually. Oh my god, it only refills one health bar? Wow. Totally shitty ability. Holy crap. Uh, but I'm liking the sniper rifle, by the way. The sniper rifle looks freaking up. Is, uh, is pretty good. The only sucky thing is we do not have a lot of bullets left. Let's go get ourselves another baby axolotl. We need to sacrifice them for more hearts. Lavender. Gun or money? Can we shoot it? Who said try and shoot it? We can't shoot. We can't shoot the unicorn. Yeah, very stingy, man. Very stingy. It's all good. It's all good. I mean, let's try this. We'll see. Worst comes to worst, we can keep the Kalas if it looks better than whatever we get. Oops. That was freaking close. Like I'm, I like the Kalas, but it, it, it there's a slow fire rate. Oh my god, we're at the boss too. You know what? I feel like keeping the Kalas just because I think that the that the um, boss is gonna be easier with like a sniper rifle than it will with like a uh, carabine. Even though I'm I'm low on on bullets. Let's get it. We, we, we made it to the first boss, guys. Pawn pincher. Don't pinch the mustache. Maybe I should have taken the carabine female finally. Topaz, this is not the. T oh my god! <laughs> not gonna blame totally Topaz there, but that was definitely not the time to hide a part of the screen. <laughs> Cause like my screen is off here, guys. So when she puts herself like right here, she literally cut off like the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Let's see what this guy wants. I'm uh, I'm Doe. Nice to meet you. I can unlock some items for you if you hand over some of those shiny gems. Okay. Expand your arsenal that is accessible to you in combat. Once you unlock through the store, you'll be able to find these items. Okay, so these unlock the ability. Ab it doesn't give you the item. It unlocks the ability to find them.
Yeah, let's grab this. Elven armor. Looks good. Gives us a one-hit shield and increases our speed. Uh, we don't have much food, eh? Why can't I nurture him? You need to make food to make the other dude, like, adulty. But I don't want to give him twice the same food. Like, I want to be able to make new stuff. But we have, like, no other ingredients. Gives you one slippery class... Uh, gives you the slippery class when eaten. No pep. So. Gives the chunk chunky class. The greedy class. Oh, desserts. Actually, I didn't see this part. Honeycream gives the snack ability. Okay, so this, this is how we give the abilities. Gives the decoy ability when eaten. Spawns a decoy to distract your enemies. Actually, let's cook this. Let's go give it to the other dude. Because now that I know that it only gives you, like, one... Inspect. Uh, do we roll items? Chest once. Okay, let's try this dude. We have the swap with the other ability this time. I'm going to keep the handgun. We're going to try. Uh, it's pretty good, Trunghua. The full night, the full version of Knights vs. Giants. I just, I just basically did like one or two runs today at work on my lunch break. It is pretty fun. And I was debating playing it tonight. I just decided to play this instead because we just saw night, you know, the, 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 the other game yesterday. So in my mind, I'm like, we're better off playing something fresh and new. Oh, dang, this looks like a badass weapon. Oh, actually, I should have gone for the... I'm dumb. I should have gone for the uh, extra health. All we're getting is a bunch of leaves every time. Like, we were never getting any other weapons. Uh, any other food I meant. I said weapons, didn't I? Why can't I reload? Weird. I can't reload the gun ahead of time. I'm not going to waste my good gun on these these losers. I'm going to keep it for like the more challenging ones. Like this dude.
Okay, how did he hit me? That was dumb. I disagree with that judgment, but you know what? I guess I'm stuck with it because there's not much I can do about it. This is like Crab Jr. But now, because we got the crab, we're gonna get crab juniors. Topaz, you're driving me nuts tonight. Like, stop walking in front of the screen. That time it wasn't so bad because it wasn't like right in the middle of a boss fight. But still. Actually, we have the decoy ability. Most likely, most likely that is the thing is I have to get to other levels, but the thing is I have to like, I'm, I'm, I'm most likely going to need a couple of upgrades here. So let's uh, nurture these guys, um, trade-ins for some hearts and then go get some extra stuff. So this guy's like full of hearts. Actually, let's go drop this dude off. Let's not evolve him. Let's drop him off here. And let's absorb all those hearts. Three hearts. Boom. There you go. And actually, it makes sense because you don't need to grow like five adults at once because basically these guys we need food to get them the new abilities so as we get the guys the new abilities we'll be able to like because a lot of it is aesthetics you know what i mean like uh deadly uh your primary weapon damage by five percent finesse reload time healing black tea room can appear once per bio so actually a richness uh increased or lethal. okay we're gonna go for one deadly and one healing waters. Actually, let's switch back to this. I think I was liking it a little bit more. Yeah, most likely when uh, when we get it's a twin st twin six shooter roguelite, as uh, I think Smiley said it after that. But basically, I'm pretty much sucking at it. So we've been seeing the same levels over and over again. So food, money, or ability. We're going to go for ability. Because we're going to try to get far. Like, I would really like to beat at least the first boss. And the first boss's patterns are actually not that difficult. So if I can get him, if I can like learn to dodge properly in this game, not be a freaking trap fest, we could actually get somewhere here. Okay. Uh, uh, immunity to explosions. Spiky traps. Same one shield, but it may contain sugar additives. Uh, definitely want shield. And we're going to go for the extra health this time. Like, unless the other food is hitting somewhere, is hidden somewhere that I'm not realizing it is. I have to use that more often. The traps hurt the bad guys, too. I wasn't using, I'm not using that enough to my advantage, I think. I think I'm, I'm focusing too much on shooting everyone down when I should actually be, like, using the environment more often.
Oh my god. So annoying that I didn't see that they respawned down there. Oh, of course. Oh my god, literally one shot. What is this sawed off? Actually, the sawed off was really good. It does a it's close up, but it does a lot of damage. Still have three hit points. What? Oh, the tea room. I think that's the healing room, right? Ugh. Like we only have one hit point, but. I think we just got a sawed off. I think we have to go to here. And it's actually a free it's a free room. It's like Hades when you get like one of the rooms is like an a, a free room. Hey, what's up, Jay Wood? We're uh, playing Axolotls tonight, man. It's a really fun uh, twin stick shooter roguelite and I'm actually really into it. So, honestly, we've gotten two really good uh, roguelites. Yes, they are peeing into the fountain, and we just drank it. So, we're drinking axolotl pee. Just like a lot of those French fountains where it's like babies peeing in the fountain. F you crab dude. Holy crud. So because we made it to the boss, it unlocks like this crab dude. Enemy. But we haven't even beaten it yet. Like, it feels a little unfit. Like, if we beat the crab dude, I can understand that it unlocks a new enemy to make it harder. <sighs> that was the uh, Kalas again. Oh my god, that was obvious. I so knew I was going to die there. Like, honestly, I'm not doing very good at this game. <laughs> and they keep giving me new upgrades. What the heck? Oh, it's enemies. Okay. 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 What was this guy? Oh yeah, we get to trade these gems. I, I'm not sure where we get it, where we're, where, where we're getting these gems from. This guy, we need to trade the hearts. So let's go, uh, let's go pet our little babies and then get some more hearts. We're gonna wait till next time till he's full up on hearts and then we're gonna go dump him there. I'm wondering why I can't nurture both babies at once. And I didn't use the decoy ability again, did I? I have to keep thinking of those things. You believe in me! We can do it! Cut his mother effing head off!
Okay. Now I'm focusing. We only... We, we, we are only here to kill shit. Katana can chop projectiles. Remember that. Alas. Ooh, a new axolotl baby. Let's go grab ourselves a baby. I wonder what happens once we have like all of the different kinds of babies. Ooh, uh, we're gonna go for the extra HP. We have left. Uh, uh, I think we have to take it just because we only have 17 shots left of the Kalas. And we actually have to shoot the rocks. I wish there was other ways to destroy the rocks than shooting them. It just annoy. It, it's just annoying to have to switch back to your normal weapon. Ah. To, sh to break the rocks. It's not like bad, just annoying. Tasty, but would increase your health by one. Become sticky. Uh, trail of goop. Uh, the health by one is better than the shield because health you can refill, shield you cannot. At least so far. Actually, we have the tea room, so we can actually theoretically refill it, our health. Now we're gonna find out if the tea room is one or many uh, health bars back. Yes, we're drinking axolotl pee. We determined that last time. Are there like any ingredients by breaking this stuff? I don't see any. My problem with the katana is I don't hold the direction while I slash. I'm expecting him to slash in the direction he's looking at, but you actually have to hold the direction button as you slash, or he might not slash in the right direction. Let's go cash in. 
Because we have a shitload of katana. Oh, this is a shop. Oh. Oh. That's why we need the gems. The gems are for the shops in game. Like in run, I mean. You don't keep the gems, but you need them for the shop. Uh, we don't have enough for the normal bag. Dang it. Okay, so now we know why the Doralitos are good. So I'm gonna try and grab some because, like I said, we have a katana. We're gonna trust in the katana. <sighs> that was sort of sucky. Now, do we want the Kalas to have to go really up close? Do we want the Katana to really have to go up close to the boss? Or do we prefer, like, a full Kalas? Ugh. This is hard because we know that the boss, the Kalas 35 shots is not a lot. Because last time I had, like, 17 and didn't even take off, like, a quarter of his health. Yeah, but it's like, it's the, the problem is it's 35 shots. I'm going to try the katana just because I want to see the feel of the fight with the katana. I'm just going to have to be very careful to move away when I think he's going to shoot. Oh my god, that was terror bad as a start. Oh my god! Okay, never the katana again. Because his hitbox is fucking wonky. That last time, I wasn't even touching him. And the katana makes you move forward, and I did not even hit his hitbox. That was, that was freaking garbage. Sorry, man. I rarely get, like, annoyed, but that was annoying. Because that last hit was, yeah... Sorry, once kilos, man. I should be. I, I should have. I should have listened to you. You were right, my man. You were right. I decided to try a different uh, strategy, and it it totally didn't work. Like I, we have to beat this first boss tonight. The kids didn't do what they were supposed to do. My wife's not happy right now. Honestly, if the hitbox wasn't as wonky, it wouldn't have been as bad. But the hitbox is really freaking wonky. Because the, 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 like, the first hit, okay, my fault, I got in too close. Second hit, I disagreed with, but I was like, meh. But that last one that killed me, no way. I was like not touching his paw, his his paw, his paw, his like claw, and it 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 registered as a hit. That means that his hit box is way wider than it looks like. Let's see what we got here for three richness. Honestly, I don't feel like richness because that's just like the shop. Like, eventually that's going to be a good upgrade, but it doesn't feel like a good upgrade to start with. <laughs> Sawed off already. Let's 
Go extra health right away. Sorry for the noise, guys, if you can hear it. Like I said, the kids are being a little uh, freaking annoying tonight. And my wife, I already know she wasn't in a good mood, so I'm going to pay for it later. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. She doesn't make me pay for the kids being jerks. So we're going to get some food on the next one. I'm like, yeah, we're going to get a second wave here for sure. Bunch of leaves. Tea room. We're actually... Uh, I wanted to go to the question mark. You have to be careful. If you get too close, it, it like sucks you in. Oh, man. Thought off is good against that dude. I took a hit there for absolutely no reason. But Sawed off is going to be terrible against the big crab. Because we have to get in close. And definitely the big crab, we're gonna be want to be far. Oh my god, man. Sorry about the noise, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear the chair like grinding against the floor. This, this is good. I'm trying to decoy because we haven't used it once yet. Oh my god. God, I'm sucking. Tonight is not my night, man. Like, I like the sawed off, but getting in close is, is, is a way bigger detriment than I thought. For parts, so give me some gems and I'll hand you over some weapons. But don't get the wrong idea. I don't like you. Dang. There's a lot. I wonder if we can change the abilities once we've grown the axolotls. No, I mean, because like now we're giving them abilities, but what if I don't like the ability and I want to change it? Do I have to grow another axolotl or can I... You know, change the ability on one that I've already grown. We're going to come back. We're going to... I really want to finish this first freaking run. Axolotls are an endangered species. Be nice to them. Well, these mice, crabs and stuff are definitely not nice to axolotls. Tactic gun, so we're definitely going to go for the ability here. The tactic gun has a super high fire rate, but you can't hold down the trigger. We're going to try this.
Like, honestly, I think I'm really sucking because I don't think it's supposed to take you this many runs to finish the first boss. Like, honestly, this is like... Like, Hades, I finished the first boss by, like, my second or third run. Like, this is just... Pitiful. Pitiful. We're going to go for the extra health here. Hit, man, for nothing. Extra health. We're gonna go to the tea room. I wanna be full health. Uh, do you think we're getting Hades 2 on the Switch or NG Switch? NG Switch. Uh, because they've announced it already for every platform except the Switch. By the way, like for the moment, there, there are no plans to bring it to the Switch. So at this point, to start building it for the switch, I would, I, I would don't see. Okay, increase your damage by ten. It may contain things. We're going to go for increase your damage by 10%. There's no way that isn't good. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I suck at bosses. I can take five hour game and make it like a marathon of 50 plus hours. Honestly, me, it really depends on the game. And in general, I do better in games with melee combat than shooting combat. Except for maybe Mega Man, because it's shooting combat, but it's very, like, memory intensive. Like, if you know where to shoot, you know, it's not about aiming Mega Man. It's about muscle memory. But if it, but games with aiming, I, I, like, you can ask freaking um, Jumping Bear if he's still here. I suck at FPS games. It's probably my worst genre of all games. I like playing them, especially like story-driven ones like Doom, but I suck at them. Ah, Beer done. You know what? I knew it was going to be a crab dude. I just knew it was going to be a crab dude, this one. Oh my god, a sawed off. A shop how much we have like 50 man we have like so we have such a crappy amount of gold like I'm gonna go for the shop nonetheless just in case we can actually buy something that's cheap and not completely awful thank you for that one now I can actually buy something is this Red Bull Man, there's a can of Red Bull, like, right there. Like, there's no way that this isn't a can of Red Bull. Uh, most likely I'm gonna get Spider-Man, but I'm not sure I'm gonna get it day one. Just because, like, Sonic and Mario are releasing the same week. And, realistically, I just don't think I'm gonna be playing it for, like, at least the first month. With all the Switch games coming out. So I might as well wait to see if, like... I can get, like, a lucky Black Friday sale or some shit like, you know, something like that. 
Now, I'm going to take the tactic gun because if we get to the boss, it's going to be a much better gun overall. Like, personally, I, I look, I do like the sawed off more. But you guys saw the boss. Like, if I get up close to him, it's going to suck, like, a lot. I use my decoy. It actually works really well in a stage in a level like this. Oh my god, if I don't like run into an enemy randomly. Like, we're at the boss, right? Again, and I have one hit point. Like, you guys have no idea how frustrated I am now. I came in here with three hit points. I played, like, freaking garbage. And I have one hit point left. Like, this is basically the same situation as the last time we faced this guy. I didn't touch the freaking thing. I didn't touch it. Oh my freaking god. The hitboxes are fucking the crap out of me. Relax. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get some We're gonna get some nice upgrades here. Everything's gonna be good. We have to the rainbow poop. We have to stop the rainbow poop. Like, why can't I nurture these other ones? Is it because there's too many people, like, in the little pen? Is that why? Or it's really just to prevent you from, like, leveling up too quick? And this. A uh, low time by 10%. Deadly, we can go for another one. Healing waters. And appear up to two biomes. Uh, mechanism. Pick up area. Shopping expert. Adds one reroll to the shop rooms. Well, we're going to go for deadly. Like, we want more damage. We're going to go for damage first. So, what's the next one? We need, like, four hearts again. We're going to go for damage and finesse. Like, let's be honest. Donkey Country Games. Because Donkey Country game, like Mega Man games, you can really, like if you learn the patterns by heart, it's easier. Donkey Country games, the hardest parts aren't even the bosses. It's some of the levels themselves. And, well, it's muscle memory too, but it's, I would add the Donkey Kong Country games. Definitely. Metroid games I find are not as hard. They're just like, oh my. God, can I please just pay attention to what I'm doing? Metroid games aren't as hard. They're just like... And you know, hard is a definition, but like a Metroidvania... Like, Metroid games are hard, but they're not. If you get a lot of upgrades and you do things in the right order, you can make the game a lot easier. While Donkey Country games, at one point, you just have to do it. Now, I know in the last one you could buy like upgrades to make some of the levels easier, but there's some of the levels that even with the upgrades, they're they're just hard. Like you've just got to get good.
was pretty quick. Some of these levels feel slightly uneven. We're gonna grab the fire trail. Like, every time we get to the boss, they add in new enemies for us. And I really need to remap my freaking role. Honestly, the biggest problem I'm having right now is the role, to me, is really not feeling, like, intuitive where it is. gonna have to go to the tea room we have like no choice here and we're gonna go for a better weapon exactly like metroid dread is not it, it like i don't ever want to use the term easy because every game is it has its moments of challenge but Metroid, I find that, like, the challenge isn't it itself in a lot of the boss fights. It's more in in discovering a lot of the secrets, you know what I mean? And sort of knowing where to go next. I'm, like, so annoyed that I get take hits. I was sure there was no more enemies left in this one. Okay, there are still the sawed off. Want to attack the gun? Like we're once again at the at the shop with like zero cash. I say zero, but you know, like low cash. I sort of have to go because I have to hope that there's something to heal up the two hits I took. If we can get to the boss, honestly, with like four hit points and long-ranged weapons, I'm 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 pretty sure I can I can take this this dude down. A pew pewer. I guess we're gonna try and buy a pew pewer. We'll see what it does. Most likely it's just like a, a powerful like auto automatic weapon. Oh, it's this one. Like, yeah. Um, to me, the robot things felt more like a puzzle than a hard challenge. Like, it was more figuring out what you needed to do for each one of them to beat them, like what their weakness was. But once you figured out what their weakness was, it, it wasn't that hard. While DK games, like... I find there's a, there's a higher level of execution on them. Uh. Hey, let's uh how high is the other dude? He has like two one. Well, we'll come back. We'll do it next time because we we won't be able to get another upgrade yet. And I really want to beat, like, I have, like, a, 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 a serious hate now for this first, like, biome. 
like a serious hate and i'm just about to go like reprogram my controller have my dodge button on a Ability. Uh, you when you get hurt, everyone gets hurt. Increase your damage by ten percent. Let's go, baby. Max damage. So question mark, money, or question mark. Let's go question mark. Alas. Next is food. I wish we also could carry more than one gun. I don't know if we're going to get an upgrade one at one point where we can carry more than one gun. Like, I'd like to be able to have, like... You know what I mean? Like, a, long, a better long-range option and a better short-range option. Extra health. I'm gonna. I'm. 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 Re I'm seeing there's comments about Mega Man, but I'm gonna share my thoughts about Mega Man in a second, because although it's one of my favorite series of all time. I'm going to say that I think it's overrated difficulty-wise. I'm not saying Mega Man isn't difficult, but I do find it, it is the series that if you put the time in to learn the stages, it is the one that eventually will be easiest. So it's hardest the first time you play it, but the more, like, it's the one that will reward replayability the most. Why didn't I dodge? Like, that was just all me being a, a word I shouldn't be saying. <laughs> oh my god, this is so annoying. Now, I want the Kalas, but I know that long term the Kalas is a problem. So I'm gonna gra uh, do Kalas, but I'm gonna take this one. I'm really 
really getting annoyed because we're again at the freaking boss. At least I have two hit points this time. The tactic gun's gonna be better for the boss, though. Oh my god. What the? I dodged. I freaking pressed the dodge button there. <laughs> oh my god, man. I think this is going to be one of my most frustrating streams I've done so far. Like, you have no idea how I don't want to give up till we freaking beat this boss. Like, I'm actually like. Now, theoretically, I should start to stop streaming around nine ish. But I'm like. So, like, annoyed right now at, uh, at it that I feel like uh, I can't stop streaming till I at least beat this first boss. I, I can't believe it's taken us two hours to beat the first boss. Like, it's embarrassing. I'm, I'm gonna just say it. But that's it. So I find that like Mega Man is the easiest game, cause especially if you start uh, exploiting the robot uh, like weaknesses, it's it's it, it it loses a lot of its difficulty level. So Mega Man is, although, at, like I said, till you know what you're doing, it's the hardest. It's the easiest once you sort of know what you're doing in each level. Now we are going to beat this guy. Like, seriously, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm about to lose my mind. And Topaz, now's not the time. Now is not the time. Yes, I love you too. But now is not the time. We're going to go deadly 15%. Till we get Mega Man Legends 3. Dude, you might never play another Mega Man game again. <laughs> Not going to be pessimistic here, but they're going to do a Mega Man X, in my opinion, before they do a Mega Man Legends. Like, to me, like, and I'm not saying that Mega Man Legends isn't good. I'm just saying that, to me, like, the way the market is right now, you have a higher chance of getting a follow-up to X than you do Legends. I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I'd rather see X get a follow-up as well. <laughs> Like, the sawed-off is so good damage-wise, but oh my god, you gotta get close as heck. This is much better. It's basically a stronger version of our, our main weapon. Hold on, I saw your question about Donkey Kong Country. Give me a sec to finish this and I'll, I'll read it. Uh, 
your active abilities have a 20% like I, it, it doesn't feel as good with the decoy though let's try this let's just see uh do you remember that one stage on donkey country 2 with the bird race covered in thorn vines yes and there would barrels with thorns all over that stage was something else yeah the, the, exactly the second one where you have to basically fly with the little bird holding the bird flying through the the thorns was a nightmare for pretty much everyone but personally uh, no one i i don't i i remain fervent that the minecart levels are the most rage inducing levels of donkey kong country no matter which entry river city collection yeah it looks interesting i want to i i want to look exactly which games are on it i know i saw it but like I'm a little River City out, like, there's been a lot of rivers, I, I, I find they're flooding a River City, the really River City franchise a little bit right now. Like, I like new games coming out in a franchise that I like, but too many in a short time is like, dude, I haven't even digested the, the, the latest entry, and you're giving me a, another one. And some of them I'm just finding are a little bit too much too flat like flat is a like they're flat ports you know what i mean like uh, which one is the one that we played from the snes that like um was super difficult towards like the, the 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 later half where i was like it's good but oh my god like did this really need its own release not sure we don't have enough money to go there I got the play. I, I got. I just got the play Asia version of uh, River City Bros. Two. And I'm not saying that to be smir snarky. I'm just saying like, I re I got it like literally a week after it released because I got the play Asia version. I want to see what this is. Dang, shit ton of money. Actually, this the Caribbean's gonna be better long term. Like if we get to the boss, the Caribbean's gonna be better. Holy crud! Oh my god, I'm getting like we're gonna get to the boss with one health again. The worst is the first time I did the boss, I dodged a shit ton of his attacks. No, we don't want the pew pewer. That's the one that does the smaller attacks. Like, this just feels bad, man. You get to the boss, and I have, like, no health. Yeah, yeah. I dodged again, man. What are they doing to me? What are they doing to me? I I literally hit the L button as like it was coming into me. Hey, man. I don't know what it is tonight, man. I don't know what it is tonight. It's all good, guys. Like, half of this is going to make me want to rage stream this one again. Let the rage flow through you. Let the hate. Let the hate flow through you. I need to use the dark side of the force for this one. And Topaz, you need to stop walking in front of the screen. For the love of God, just stop walking in front of the stream. Don't cross the streams. Oh. 
My God. Ugh. Okay. And they came out with... Didn't they come out? Yeah, they came out with a River City Girls dual pack on, on Playasia 2, which is like... I already, I already had the first one, so I had to buy the second one. Like, well, I had to. Like, it didn't make sense to rebuy the collection when I already had the first one. But when I saw that, I was like, that is amazing value for someone that doesn't already have the first one. Let's go. Extra hit point. Holy crud again. Every time I try to be conservative with anything, I pay for it by getting hit. I'm gonna go for the ability. Yes, our new one. Shield and speed by 0.5. I feel we're going to go for weapon here because we like extra gold at this point. We're, we're so low on gold at this, this run. Gun or Kalos. Ooh. Be like the cat. Oh. No, dual tactic gun is gonna be better. Oh my god, do we want to go for the shop? I'm gonna go for the shop, but I, I don't think I can buy anything. Yeah, everything's too expensive. Like I find the shop for this first biome is too expensive. Like, there's never anything I, like, logically, unless you go, like, all money, there's nothing you can buy here. And it just makes the shop in, in this first biome feel bad. We're gonna go here. God dang you. Oh, small stutter there in the frame rate. Oh my god, you're driving me nuts!
There's like... Where is he? Hey, the good thing is we're, we have a tea room. We actually have a tea room. Like, this is like the perfect... Oh my god, it doesn't fill it all the way. God dang it. it it's okay. It's, it's still better than nothing, but I, I was hoping... Actually, boom. Oh, Kalas. Again. I just don't think the Kalas is going to be the best option here. We're going to keep with the Carbine. But we're at the boss and we have three hit points. And we have a long range weapon. So theoretically, we shouldn't get hit stupidly. I just noticed if I if I do it just right, I can actually dodge both of them in one roll. Oh. Oh, do we have to blast it? Oh, we have to blast the shield off or else this never stops. Oh, F you, bro! Oh! Dude, I know too many misses. I know too many misses, bro. Holy fudge, man. Okay, so his phase two is way freaking harder than his phase one. Holy crud, man. Okay, guys, we're gonna do one, one last attempt. I'm gonna have to call it for tonight. Now, it's super, like, if we don't beat him, it super sucks that we wouldn't beat the first biome tonight. I'm, like, actually disappointed. But if we don't, we'll see. We're not, I'm not disappointed yet, because there is still hope. This guy's, like, full up. But... I'm not sure how we get the gems. I think it's maybe that I'm not choosing the um, money. Maybe the, I think the money options also is what maybe gives the gems. Um, most likely not. Well, I'm saying that, but maybe I will. We'll see. Maybe I'll be so annoyed if we don't beat this that I will.
Air bean. Let's go for gold. Because food, we know it's only giving us leaves for the moment. And if there's one thing we have a ton of, it's the freaking leaves. Oh my god, a new axolotl. I think I'm gonna go for that. Just because the more we can get upgrades, the better it is. A Draco. Maybe the gems are in the question marks. We're gonna go for ability. Boom. Five hit points. You can only grab a weapon. Do this. Makes it, it's good though we because our carabines are We are actually in a super good spot here. I guess my being extremely peeved right now is working. And then I get hit. Oh my god! Get a scream. I actually have a shot now to actually buy something decent at the at the shop. I don't know what the empty can does. That's what's annoying here. I'm gonna buy it because I have no idea what it does. I'm just hoping I don't get effed and that it does like basically nothing. Can we know what it does, please? Oh man, we can't see what it does. That is uber annoying. Oh my god, why do these guys shoot when they Like, nah, it's my fault. I I'm just playing like garbage. I'm getting demoted. I'm like, 
losing patience. Oh, we get to the boss with freaking amazing number of freaking weapons. Increases speed. Okay. I rolled. I freaking rolled. Man. Like... Okay, guys, we're gonna have to call it here tonight um, before I actually break a controller or something. Like, seriously? Uh, uh, wow. But, um, I'm going to think about maybe restreaming this one tomorrow, but part of me really wants to stream Sunshine Manor just because it's a really chill game. It's different. It's, uh, I'm not going to say it's like a great game because I haven't gotten far, far enough in it. Like I tried out the beginning and I like the basic setup. Yes, he is pooping a rainbow grovel. Oh my God. Rainbow poopiness. Let's just get a last little upgrade here. We're most likely going to be enough to get our max um, upgrade for weapon damage. Absorb the love. Absorb. There we go. Now we can start upgrading like finesse, which is the reload time. Pick up area. Doritos. And adds one roll re-roll to shop rooms. Oh, anyway, hey, thanks guys for showing up. I'm sorry that this, like, we didn't beat the freaking boss. It annoys the crap out of me. I'll think about replaying this one sometime soon. But I'm really liking the game, honestly. Although it's, it's pissing the crap out of me because I didn't beat the boss, I'm still really enjoying it. And I might play it, like, on my own after, like, off stream just to, like, prove to myself that I'm not total, total garbage. But hey, thank you everyone for showing up tonight as usual, and I hope I will see all of you in my next video.